name is Maha Guru SGMD, and I represent the United World Sarada Eskrima Federation. This federation represents over 35 different diverse worldwide countries. The system that we'll be teaching today will be based upon the Kabbalah Sarada system of Eskrima. So without the pitter and the patter, we're going to get right down to the crux of the issues of how this system works. When you use it, come back at it. break that down in parts now. The thing about Kabbalah Sarada Eskrima is everything looks basic and fundamental, but there are these little nuances that you want to keep in mind. For instance, on any abdomen stab, you want to not only try to deflect the weapon or the hand that is holding the weapon, but you want to keep in mind that you want to tuck your stomach in as much as possible because you're dealing with the tip of the blade and basically that's all you have to defend yourself against. So you want to try to tighten up your stomach muscles and pull them in as you do this first move. So we're going to demonstrate that just a bit because the blade can come out of nowhere. It, it's not going to be telegraphed. When, it, when the blade comes, it comes. You see? And continue. Very good. Now let's break that down into parts. Let's switch sides. First step, when I mentioned about tucking in the stomach, you want to pull your muscles as tight into your pelvis area as possible. That's one of the keys of Sarada Eskrima. So as the blade comes, you see, He's not only off the line, but let's go back to that first movement. Freeze, just here. You see? Just that little bit of sticking in the gut gives you that little extra room to be able to counterattack quickly. From there, he's not just going to stay there. He's going to go ahead and drop that hand, you see, and switch me over to a very uncomfortable position. Take the blade, because I'm not going to give it to him and diverse cuts. Yes, sir. Thank you. So, I'm going to slow that down. Let's go one, two, three, four, five. Very nice. Very good. Now, here's the other thing. The same technique will work against a boxer's right cross. So, just keep in mind that anything from the solar plexus down to the body, as far as the feet, is a number five type of straight strike. So, in this case, I'm just kind of going to whip one to his body. See, he's going to do the same thing. Continue. So, even if I try to come up with that hand to stop him, he's just going to reverse the arm. Go for it. You see what I mean? Bow. All right. Very good. Break that down. And come to the body. You see, from here, I want you to keep in mind, this is what is known as a C hand or a claw hand in the Kabbalah Sarada system of the screen. What we're doing here, go back, slow that down. I'm off the line, but what I'm going to do is hit his nerve and joint center with this particular technique. So when I go down to basically secondarily trap, I'm not just going down. I'm hitting him in the nerve. You see? From there, watch what I'm doing. I'm twisting the nerve here to where I'm here. Look what I'm doing here. Snaking up the arm, and I'm not going to go to him. You see what I'm saying? Because that gives him the ability to try to counter me. Once I have him in this position, I'm going to yank him to me. Same time, coming, oops, sorry, coming down on the back, and then me. And 
and then push it in. Fantastic. So, as you see, this technique works with the weapon or without the weapon. These will be some of the nuances that we'll cover in the upcoming workshop based upon the Kabbalah Serata system of the screen. Please join me. I'll release the date soon and we'll get busy. We're going to cut through the pitter and the patter. We're going to get straight to the point. Thank you very much. Salam so